Grade 4 math, number 89, add fractional parts of 10 and 100. This is how to add fractions when the denominators are a 10 or a 100 and they're mixed. Okay? So remember, a decimal point is a dot symbol used to separate dollars from cents in money amounts and to separate the ones place value from the tenths place value of a decimal. Okay? There's the decimal point. Here's the ones place and the tenths place. All right? So it would look like this for place value. Here's the decimal point. The ones place is here. The tens and hundreds go on this way. Here's tenths, hundredths, and it keeps going that way with the decimals. Okay? So, every time Emma tried to finish painting her fence, someone stopped to ask directions or to ask her a question. She painted three-tenths when an old man asked her where the bus stop was. She painted another 45 one hundredths when a lady asked where a gas station was. She painted two-tenths more when a lady asked if she had seen an old man looking for a bus stop. Did Emma finish painting her fence? Poor thing. Okay, so we need to add up these fractions to see if it totals 100%, right? Because if she finished painting the whole fence, then it would be 100. That would be all of it, right? Because 45 one hundredths is a portion. 100 one hundredths would be she finished painting the whole fence, right? So that's what she's trying to get to, all right? So we need to add them up, but the denominators are different. So let's change the 3 tenths and 2 tenths to have the same denominator as the 45 one hundredths, okay? So we have 3 tenths plus 45 one hundredths plus 2 tenths. We need the 10 to become 100, and we ask ourselves, what happens to 10 to become 100? We multiply it by 10. So we multiply the 10 times 10 and get 100. The numerator gets jealous. It wants to be multiplied by 10. 10 times 3 is 30, so that's 30 one hundredths. We need to do the same thing with the 2. The 2 tenths. In order for the, its tenths to become 100, it needs to be multiplied by 10. Numerator gets jealous. It wants to be multiplied by 10, and we get 20 one hundredths. Now we can add all these hundredths, okay? We've got 30 hundredths, 45 one hundredths, and 20 one hundredths. 30 and 45 and 20 equals 95. See, that's 5, and 7 and 2 is 9. So we have 95 one hundredths. Oh, she got so close. She didn't quite finish painting the fence. Look, she was 5 one hundredths away from finishing. She was so close, okay? All right, if we are told to write decimals as fractions and add them, this is what we do. This is 3 tenths. This is 27 one hundredths. We need the denominators to match, so the tenths needs to become one hundredths, all right? We can't make the hundredths tenths because it's a two-digit number. If it was three one hundredths, we might be able to do that, but it's a two-digit number for a numerator. So the 10 is going to become 100 by multiplying by 10, see? Just like we did over here, see? The three tenths became 30 one hundredths. We multiply the denominator, it becomes 100. We multiply the numerator by the same amount because it gets jealous. It wants to be multiplied by whatever the denominator is multiplied, and we have 30 one hundredths. Now we can add the 30 one hundredths and the 27 one hundredths, and we get 57 one hundredths. See? There's a 7 plus 0, and a 2 plus a 3 is the 5. All right, let's try it again. We have 0.18 plus 0.6. Well, this 0.18 is 18 one hundredths. See, the 8 is in the hundredths place. So, 18 one hundredths plus 6 tenths, we need to have the denominators the same. So we need to change the 6 tenths. In order for the 10 to become 100, it needs to be multiplied by 10. The numerator gets jealous, and the 6 wants to be multiplied by 10 also, so that's 60. Now we can add the 18 plus the 60, and we get 78 one hundredths. See? All right, let's do it with these two. We have 6 tenths plus 15 one hundredths. The tenths needs to become one hundredths for the denominators to be the same, for them to be common. 10 needs to be multiplied by 10 to become 100. So the numerator wants to be multiplied by 10, so it becomes 60. 
6 times 10 is 60, see? The numerator is always jealous of the denominator and wants to be multiplied by the same thing in a lot of math, okay? Just keep thinking that it gets jealous. So now we've got 60 one hundredths plus 15 one hundredths, and that gives us 75 one hundredths. See, that's kind of easy, isn't it? Let's try this one. 19 one hundredths plus 4 tenths. We need this tenths to become 100. And we ask ourselves, what happens to 10 to become 100? It needs to be multiplied by 10. Numerator of 4 got jealous. It wants to be multiplied by 10 also. 4 times 10 is 40. So now we've got 19 one hundredths plus 40 one hundredths, and that's 59 one hundredths. Okay? So if you've got a denominator that's a 10 and you need to add it, to a denominator that's a 100, just multiply it by 10 to make it equal the 100 and then multiply the numerator by the same amount. That's how we raise fractions to higher terms, right? Okay, so now you know how to add fractional parts of tens and hundreds and we're getting to geometry pretty soon. We're going to talk about some uh, different sizes of decimals and what order they should be in next, and then pretty soon we're going to be at geometry. So stick with me. I'll see you next video. Bye.